Here's more wrestling news for June 8th, 2022, and your headlines for this afternoon include WWE responds to claim Stephanie McMahon was forced out of her roles, Jim Cornette bashes Raw superstar as too girly to be a wrestler, WWE makes major change to face heel rosters after latest Raw, AEW star says that the Judgment Day's betrayal is similar to All Elite storyline, Kimberly responds to critics following Nash Carter allegations controversy, William Regal opens up on infamous 1997 arrest, says he's not to blame. WWE confirms gimmick change for former tag team champion on latest NXT 2.0. They don't give a <laughs> Tony Storm hits out at WWE in discussion about December release. WWE Raw superstar blacks out social media after tough time on TV and more. We're starting off with Stephanie McMahon, who announced last month that she would be taking a leave of absence from the majority of her WWE duties. Since then, a lot has come out about her decision, including reports that top WWE execs were badmouthing her. It's been reported that WWE were not pleased with the level of growth that the company was showing under McMahon's watch, but you won't hear that from WWE themselves. Sean Ross Sapp reports that when asked, WWE denied the idea that Stephanie was essentially forced out of her roles with WWE, stating, Those that were involved with WWE ahead of the Nick Khan regime were letting people know that that wasn't the case even before the news dropped. However, some hires in the new regime were quick to say that there were performance issues and things to improve upon, but not along the lines that it was something that caused the end of her job. Sources from both regimes say that the decision was hers. It was also noted that until last week, McMahon's name was included in the production email list, but has since been removed from all messages related to upcoming shows. Stephanie's father Vince McMahon still runs the company, but for now, the billion dollar princess is taking a break, a decision that was entirely hers and not forced upon her at all, at least according to WWE. Over to Raw now as Liv Morgan has had an interesting 2022 to say the least, from challenging for the Raw women's title to teaming with Finn Balor and AJ Styles. After years as part of the Riot Squad, Morgan is finally establishing her own name on WWE TV, but one person who certainly isn't a fan is Jim Cornette. Speaking on his podcast, the controversial wrestling personality hit out at Morgan when discussing her recent matches with former tag partner Rhea Ripley. They've been fighting every week. Liv Morgan does not grow on me. She is too girly to be a wrestler. Rhea Ripley has to not only bend over backwards, but has to do the limbo to make it believable that Liv Morgan is hanging in there with her, right? It's hard to decipher what Cornette means by too girly and whether anyone else fits the label the former WWF personality has given Liv. Today marks Morgan's 28th birthday, and while she may not be to Jim Cornette's taste, the young superstar has earned a wide fan base who are happy to see her wrestle. On this week's Raw, the Judgment Day promised to reveal a new member, which turned out to be Finn Balor. Balor's recruitment had been rumored for some time, but nobody expected the group to turn on Edge, who was brutalized by Balor, Rhea Ripley, and Damian Priest. According to PW Insider, this is being treated as a face turn for Edge, who is once again on the face roster in WWE's internal listings. While some have called the move rushed, it's been suggested that making Edge a babyface was down to Cody Rhodes' absence and WWE needing a top-tier babyface on the red brand. There's no timescale for when Edge will be back, but expect the rated R superstar to embrace his lighter side going forward. The Judgment Day turning on Edge was something fans didn't see coming, or at least not this soon, but one person in particular found the scene all too familiar. On Twitter, Matt Hardy shared two images from wrestling, one of the Judgment Day turning on Edge and the other from the Hardy family office recently turning on him. Hardy said how young people don't have any respect for their mentors these days, though given that Finn Balor and Damian Priest are both 40 years old, the word young is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. It was in March that the Andrade Hardy family office turned on Matt, but given the past issues between himself and Edge, don't expect too much sympathy from the AEW star. Earlier this year, Nash Carter was released by WWE following some claims of abuse by his estranged wife and fellow wrestler Kimber Lee. It was said at the time that WWE's decision wasn't due to Lee's claims, which they didn't find credible, but an image of Carter parodying Adolf Hitler, though it's worth noting that it was Kimber Lee who shared the image that went viral. Kimber Lee faced huge backlash from fans, but that hasn't stopped the indie wrestler from sticking to her claims. On Twitter, Lee claimed that she finds it hilarious that people who she's blocked are still trying to message her and encourage them to go back to their quote, 
fake-ass drama. Lee and Carter's careers will forever be tied by what happened earlier this year, ironically despite their marriage coming to an end, but for now, Kimberly is sticking by everything she said about her estranged husband. Now in 2022, few veterans of wrestling are more respected than William Regal, who has worked in the industry for decades in various roles and companies. In the mid to late 90s, however, Regal was sadly one of many wrestlers to abuse substances and in 1997 was thrown off a plane from Tokyo to Detroit for causing a scene. Since then, the story has been that Regal's drinking was the reason why he was thrown in jail, but on his Gentleman Villain podcast, the British brawler said he wasn't to blame. Regal explained that when he went to the bathroom, the door did not shut entirely, and when he was approached by a flight attendant, the disoriented wrestler turned around and urinated on her foot. This may seem bad, but Regal added that there was a paparazzi photographer on the back of the plane who had started punching people and claimed that this person was the reason the plane was landed, not him. Not only that, but the wrestling veteran said that other wrestlers on the flight were doing salacious things as well, but did not want to incriminate any other wrestlers. Unfortunately for Regal, getting arrested for drunkenly urinating on a flight attendant was not the wake-up call to turn his life around, but while he was involved in an incident, he was by no means the most misbehaved on board. Over to NXT 2.0 next as Giovanni Vinci has been seen in a few segments as of late, and last night, WWE confirmed who exactly he is. During a vignette, Vinci's face was revealed and it was confirmed that he is the repackaged Fabian Eichner who has severed ties with Imperium. Eichner was last seen on NXT 2.0 TV just before his Imperium partners Gunther and Marcel Bartel, now Ludwig Kaiser, were called up to SmackDown. The Vinci character is far removed from the stoic, serious persona Eichner had in Imperium, so we'll have to see how he fares with the new gimmick. In July 2021, Tony Storm was called up to the main roster, but requested her release from WWE mere months later, last December. Since then, Storm has joined AEW and recently competed in the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament and is now opening up about her departure last year. Speaking on the sessions, Storm told Renee Paquette how WWE, or at least the main roster, wasn't what she thought it was going to be and explained how she felt the day she quit the company. I thought, they don't give a sh so why should I? This isn't going to work. I know what's going to happen here. I'm just going to be sent back to catering again. I'm not going to succeed here. I can just see. Storm has made a splash since joining AEW, though the company has faced backlash for having Britt Baker win the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament rather than the freshly debuted Storm. Nevertheless, Storm seems much happier in AEW and is working hard to make her unceremonious time on WWE's main roster a distant memory. And we're ending today with Becky Lynch, who lost the Raw Women's Championship to Bianca Belair at WrestleMania 38, and the man hasn't been the same ever since. The usually confident, cocky champion is now a desperate, unhinged challenger who seems to be paranoid about getting her title back. After losing in her title rematch at Hell in a Cell, Lynch failed to win the 24-7 championship on this week's Raw, and her downward spiral has continued on social media. On Twitter and Instagram, Lynch blacked out her profile, removing her image from the site, and has changed her location to The Void. Raw saw Rhea Ripley earn a title match against Bianca Belair, which means Lynch will continue to be out of the title hunt, so we imagine it's going to be a rough couple of months for the former champion. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, Thanks for watching.